Please help me give another very warm welcome to PLU's own Miss Melanie. Air kisses. I don't know if you noticed, but I closed my eyes, and for a moment I was like, what do I do here? Is this a real kiss? I don't know. <laughs> What's she going to do? We figured it out, though, I think. Yes. So um, I just want to kick it, get it out there right away. I don't know if all of you have heard, but Miss Melanie was recently awarded the Tacoma Peace Prize. Yeah. 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 And this is a huge deal, um, but I was wondering if maybe you could explain to us why. Why is it such a big deal, and then uh, why was it awarded to you? What were you working on that people were like, we've got, to, we've got to acknowledge her for all this work that she's been doing? Yeah. So first of all, let me know that I immediately rebranded re myself as the Peace Queen. Ooh. <laughs> they offered me a medal, and I'm like, can I get a tiara? <laughs> and a sash? <laughs> um, <laughs> Dr. Joanne Lasoski in the communications department nominated me. And uh, it's just pretty humbling when people see you for who you are. And I've been in the civil rights struggle for all of my career. And so Dr. Lasoski came to me and she said, she calls me Namu Sisi because uh, I went with her to Uganda with students in 2010, and the folks there named me Namu Sisi, which means earthquake and in Africa. <laughs> and that so is she amazing. said, Namu Sisi, I'm going to nominate you for the Peace Prize. And I'm like, OK, girl, what does that mean? <laughs> and um, so basically, she just turned in and was supporting documentation, my work with, uh, I'm the founder of the Martin Luther King holiday celebration for the city of Tacoma. So she took it back to the 80s. And then I've worked on the Hate Won't Win project, which was born out of the Charleston massacres when that person went into the church and killed the people. Um, that were in Bible study just because he wanted to start a race war. And at that time, the, the children of one of the victims uh, forgave him and said, you know, we proclaim that hate won't win. And so I helped organize the um, city of Tacoma to become the first city in the nation to accept the hate won't win challenge. And wow. let me see what else. Um, the People's Gathering, which is a just conference. Just off I all mean, these amazing like, things. This is I mean, it's just what I do. And I never think anything other than it's just what I do. And then some folks recognized it and said, OK, that's Well, you deserve it. You absolutely work. deserve it. Absolutely. Give Thank it up you. for this morning. I'm practicing my queen wave. <laughs> We should have gotten you a tiara. We didn't I know. We didn't know. I'm hoping. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Do you think they will get you a tiara? Is that an option? No, I have to get my own. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just going to like take the medal and toss it and be like, this one's better and yeah, put it on? Probably so. <laughs> Whichever one blings the best. <laughs> yeah. If you, if you can lift your shoe, I don't know if we'll be able to get in the shot, but check out these shoes. They're hey. bright and sparkly and gold. You look like a queen. You do. Thank you. Yes, you look beautiful Sam, today. Thank you so much. Um, so. You, you were telling me about all the things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, were, you were telling me about, or all of us, about all the things that you've been doing. And you have some incredible stories. You came, she came to one of our classes one time and just told us some. Do you have a story that you maybe want to share with us about one of the things you've experienced uh, just in your life that you found to be very impactful or uh, amazing? Yeah. I think it's really important. Um, you all laugh about that V word, vocation. Um, but it's really important to, um, to walk that path and make sure that your head and your heart connect. And when I got out of college a long time ago, uh, really long, I graduated from WSU. And um, my major was, well, let me tell you how it happened. My dad called up and he said, uh, baby girl, you've been at that college now for almost six years, long enough to have some paperwork. <laughs> and so we're not going to pay for you anymore after this. And so I'm like, oh, gosh, you know, because Pullman was the party school. I was really majoring in that. <laughs> and so um, I got my degree after six years in general studies. And <laughs> like, wait, wait, wait. wait. Who goes to school 
for six years and gets a degree in general studies. Does that mean like, like I took some of this, I took some of that, I don't know, what was it? Totally. That's, that's what it that's is. That's what it was. That was <laughs> that's liberal arts. But I didn't know. I didn't know about it. I didn't know what to call it back then other than I better get out of school before my parents stop paying for me. That's true. I didn't think about it like that until you said that is kind of what we do. Yes. But then at the end of the day, because I just turned 60 on my birthday, ooh, and I look back. Oh, yeah, thank you. And when I look back, my life has been very general in terms of my careers. I've run, um, I've worked as an equal employment opportunity officer. I ran a warehouse and distribution center. I'm now here advising students. And uh, when I was working in government, to answer your question, <laughs> I remember driving to work one day saying, Lord, you know what? I don't know what I want to do, but I know what I don't want to do. And so I went to work that day and asked my supervisor to lay me off. And so from that perspective, and you don't never quit a job, but if you get laid off, you get benefits. <laughs> um, and as a result of that, when I got laid off, I went back to, T I went to TV school, which was the original reason I went to college in the first place, was to be a communications major. But um, it didn't catch up with me until then. And so when I got laid off, I went back to TV school. And that's when I really found my passion. And I realized that I wasn't a government worker. So yes, for standing up for myself. And that's what I say to you all. Follow your passion. And my passion has led me here. And my career has been extremely general. <laughs> <laughs> And you mentioned that, uh, I can't really talk, I have a general communication major, so it's not much. <laughs> no, not we much. stay general, keep it <laughs> yeah. broad. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned the TV things, and you work for like the Northwest Emmys and, and stuff. How did you get involved working for the Emmys and doing those sorts of things in television? That's Dr. Lasaski again. Namusisi, you should join this group. So she got me on the board, and... Uh, I just stepped right in into my natural lane, and so what I do for the Emmy Awards is to coordinate the reception for student, student Emmys, and congratulations, PLU, for your three Emmy nominations, and yeah, you we got, got one, too. We got one. We, uh -huh. we have four Emmys in oh, total, four? I think. Is yeah, it four? Okay. Yeah. Four but hopefully yeah, nominations. nominations. But we'll re we'll remain hopeful. Yeah. But that was a um, you know that's just that's just a matter of being open and saying yes to what the universe sends you. And so again, in my very general life, that I was embarrassed at the beginning, as I look back and where I am now, I made it right with my parents because they were still like, general studies, for real? We paid for that? <laughs> but now I have an MBA, and then I start in September on my PhD, so. Wow. General, yeah. Wow, so you're gonna be, uh, what, what you, what's your title gonna be when you get your doctorate? When doctor? I get my doctorate, yeah. Dr. Miss Melanie. Dr. Miss Melanie, mm -hmm. are you gonna toss a queen in there? Or? Yeah, Dr. Queen Miss Melanie. <laughs> no, I think maybe Dr. Diva Miss Melanie. What do you think? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> There's lots of options. Yeah, because you that, can make it up. Is, is that like birth or when you get your doctor, you can just change your whole name? And yeah, put the... you can do anything you want, I promise you, just make it up. <laughs> you believe it, you can do it. That's what we do here, right? That's right? What, yeah. <laughs> No, and, and you know what? We're laughing about it, but it's really true. You can make it up. And so your career, I, I see you, Sam. I see you in the future right now as I'm sitting here looking at you. Your future is bright. And for each one of you all, it's all about what you, you're only limited to how big you can dream and then what you do about it in the moment. Wow. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And we've brought up Joanne a couple of times, and mm -hmm. Joanne's watching right now. She helped us start this show. She's been uh, the lifeblood of a lot of the communication. Things. She's my sister from yeah. another mother. Give it up for Joanne, please. Yes, Joanne Hagel. <laughs> and I have one last question as yes. we're wrapping up here. Uh, what are you hoping that, what is the next step? What are you hoping to try to accomplish uh, with like the Tacoma Peace Prize's PhD? What are you working towards? Thank you for that question. My platform is all about peace. 
And so I'm hoping to use this one year reign as visibility. Of course, I'll be the Peace Laureate for the rest of my life. But in this year, I expect to go into middle schools and I'll be talking to young people about um, peace building and conflict resolution, anti-bullying, anti-suicide, you know, all of those things where young people just don't see the value of themselves. They need to know that they matter and there's a place in this world and you matter. Students out here, you give me life. I mean, I just really, uh, you know, when you get to your 60s and you can live every day with folks that are in their 20s and can help you with technology and all kinds of things that, like, because I just learned about Snapchat. <laughs> and, um, but, you know, it's all about lifting as you climb. And so my platform is to just ask for folks to be able to see one another and to be able to... Um, ebb and flow through conflict and intercultural communications because I was recognized for the Peace Prize for my efforts in racial reconciliation. And I think if we look at what's going on today with our politics and the person who is leading our nation, but yet um, just not speaking respectful from that office. And you know, God don't like ugly, so what goes around comes around, I'm just saying. <laughs> Apparently money does, does though, we learned that, that money <laughs> likes ugly, which. Yeah, yeah, but as long as we're here and we're figuring out what our purpose is and what our voice is, then um, we can make a difference. And so with this honor that I've been given, I hope to just spread peace. Thank you so much. Thank Give you. it up for Miss Melanie.